Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to my channel. I'm David Mathis. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, welcome. I really appreciate you guys taking your time, stopping by, checking out this video, and hopefully it leads to you checking out more videos. Um, just a quick intro about me, if you are new. Um, I am an Army Combat Medic Veteran. I do hold a Master's in Exercise Science from the University of South Florida. Um, and I have been a personal trainer, a certified personal trainer since 2008. So I am an online strength and physique coach. Um, and I like making free content for you. So um, this segment that you're watching particularly is called Ask the Coach. Now I have people that reach out to me on Instagram. You can find me at Mathis Fitness, M-A-T-H-A-S Fitness. Um, or people, you know, reach out to me through Facebook or client questions. I um, mean, I try to pick a question a week, maybe a couple of questions a week to make a video about that I feel a lot of people are asking questions about so that I try to answer that for you so you can get real, honest, up-to-date information on it um, and try to sort through as much of that bullshit that's out there because there's quite a bit of it, let's be frank, right? So um, this particular question today in the Ask the Coach segment came from a Q&A that I did on my Instagram the other day, like I said, at Mathis Fitness. I, I do Q&As probably three times a week usually. Um, and I thought this was a really good question because this is a question that I find comes up quite often. And that is, what do I do when my weight plateaus? So assuming someone's obviously in a, uh, a fat loss phase, right? There's a few things that as a coach, I like to point out to people that they need to realize. Number one, if your weight has stalled for a few days or even a week, it's nothing to be worried about, okay? That's very normal. As we start coming down in calories and we come down in weight, our body hits becomes adapted to those calories at some point, okay? Now, the goal is to not get super low where your body becomes so adapted that you stop losing weight in general, but you're gonna come down, your body's gonna start adapting. Why is that? because it's an evolutionary thing that happens with human beings. That's how we've been able to survive this whole time is because in times of famine, when there hasn't been a lot of food, our body has found a way to stabilize itself and maintain homeostasis because maintaining homeostasis, life, preserving your life, is the main function of your body. We want it to be ripped, we want a lot of muscle, but the body's main goal is homeostasis. So it has found a way through evolution over all the years of human existence to make sure that it does what it needs to in order to preserve your internal life, right? Your heart, your digestive system, your circulatory system, your respiratory system, things like that. So it's, it's common that as you're dieting down, your body's going to eventually get used to those calories. Now, this is where either we need to go into a diet break for a week, maybe um, raise calories up about 20, 25%, mostly in the form of carbohydrates or maybe just throw in a refeed day, something to kind of re-spark your metabolism, okay? Make sure that it keeps firing hot, make sure that it realizes that it does not have to stop burning, okay? So a lot of times what happens is when you get down to those low calories, what your kind of body is getting signaled is that, listen, I don't know if I'm gonna get more calories, so I need to hold on to these, right? But if you throw in these occasional refeed days or take a week off and do a diet break, um, it signals to your body that, listen, I'm, I'm not in that starvation mode, which not really a thing anyways, but you kind of get where I'm going with this. It, it signals to your body, hey, I can keep burning because I know I'm going to get food eventually. So it's kind of a, a very simplistic way of putting it, but something I think you guys can understand. So why do I say this? Because at some point your body is going to plateau, okay? But if it plateaus for a day, a couple days, even a week, it's nothing to worry about. I say if it starts plateauing after two weeks, there's a couple things that we need to look at. Number one, um, do you need to re do you have any refeed days incorporated into your plan already? If not, that's the first place I would start. Just try incorporating a refeed day. Okay, I'd probably go up about 20, 25 percent in calories that day, mostly in the form of carbohydrates to kind of get your leptin levels, which control your hunger, um, and get your metabolism boosted back up again. Okay, usually after that, you can go back to dieting for another three or four days before you have to do another one, um, depending on how aggressive you're getting. Obviously, this is all very dependent on the individual. So that's why working with a coach or something um, is really helpful because if one's educated and understands these kind of trends in the body, they can help you, um, you know, overcome them a little bit more or at least put you in the better position to keep succeeding. So if the refeed day doesn't help, right, then we look at maybe doing a week long a diet break. The body gets really stressed during dieting, okay guys? So we need to reward it because you're asking a lot for your body. You're asking a lot, you're demanding a lot, and not giving it a whole lot in return. We need to be generous to our bodies. So that diet break week is a way of giving back to our bodies, kind of showing goodwill, right? Like here, I'm gonna give you this week 
where we're going to take calories back up enough to satisfy you. But then I'm going to ask another three or four weeks of hard dieting after that. And then I'm going to give you another reward. That's kind of the way you need to think about the diet breaks with your body. Okay. I know it's kind of a weird way to think about it, but it's a very, very easy concept to understand at that point. So what happens if after that diet break, you, um, you go back to dieting and you're still just, you're just plateauing. You're not hardly losing any weight. This is going to signal that you probably need to reverse diet. You've probably gotten to a point where your calories are so low that your body has negatively adapted to it. Right. And all it's wanting to do is hold on to everything because you're so low in calories. It barely has enough to even support human life. Okay. So at that point, we'd probably look at going into a reverse diet. So reverse diet is where you slowly start integrating calories back into your diet week by week. Um, but you go at a pace to where it's not overwhelming your body and you're not, you're not just throwing so many calories at it that it doesn't know what to do with it and it stores it as fat. What it does is we go slowly so that your body can utilize it to progressively overload in the gym, um, use it for repair and growth of new lean body mass, new, new muscle tissue, um, because that's what's metabolically active, guys. So we want to make sure we're holding on and building as much lean body mass as possible. That's how we get our maintenance calories up higher. And little by little over time, you know, sometimes it's only 20 to 40, maybe 20 to 50 calories per week. But over time, you, you do that for 8, 12 weeks. Well, now you're looking at, you know, 50, 100, 200. You're looking at, you know, could be upwards of four to 600 calories higher per day while maintaining your same body weight and even probably improving your body composition a little bit. Um, that happens quite a bit. And some people that are in such a bad metabolic position actually lose weight a little bit. Now that's not normal. And I advise all my clients that that's not necessarily going to happen, but we do see some outliers like that. Okay. Because if you think about your, your metabolism as a campfire, and I actually did another video on this, so you can check it out um, in depth on my channel. But when your body is adapted to low calories, it's like a campfire in the morning. You wake up, it's barely smoking, right? It's burnt out overnight. The wood is all burnt up. Well, what happens when you start throwing logs back onto that fire? It starts burning hot again, right? That flame gets hot. It starts roaring again. It's the same way with your metabolism, guys. It's how it works. As you start adding food back in little by little, it's going to rev up your metabolism again, okay? So it's going to actually start burning a lot more and it's going to signal to your body, hey, I'm getting food, right? So I can burn off some of this fat. I can burn off some of the stuff that's coming in. I don't need it all. Um, so that's kind of what that reverse diet would do. So there's a few things to look at when your weight's plateauing. Uh, number one, do you maybe need to back off from the gym a little bit? Do you, are you stressing your body too much? Because stress increases cortisol, which inhibits fat loss, okay? So we need to look at your training, maybe back off on cardio a little bit, maybe pull back and do a deload week. Give your body some rest. We are not robots. As much as I would love to be, and I've tried to be in the past, we are humans, and we have to take that into account when things are coming up like this, okay? So we need to treat our bodies with respect. We need to give it the rest that it needs, okay? So we need to look at that as a possible remedy towards the plateau. We need to look at maybe possibly integrating a refeed day. Um, if that isn't enough, we need to possibly look at reintegrating a diet break week. And if that's not enough, then ultimately we might have to go to a reverse diet. But there's many stages to consider when your weight plateaus. The big thing is, is if it's plateauing for a few days or even a week, don't worry. Okay. That can be very natural. All of a sudden the body can just click on. If you have a, a couple days of rest and you let that cortisol go down, your body can you know, turn back on and start burning fat again. So there's some things that you need to look at if you're doing this by yourself. Um, but for you coaches out there that you know, might be new to coaching, these are some things that you can work through with your clients and try to see if, you know, maybe some of these remedies that I'm giving you help with their situation. So, um, big thing is don't freak out so much about a couple days or even a week of plateauing the weight. If you get to about two weeks, then try incorporating, you know, the refeed day then try incorporating the diet break week. And if those two fail, you probably need to incorporate a reverse diet. So Thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Once again, I'm David Mathis. Um, I have a master's in exercise science from University of South Florida. I am an army combat medic veteran um, and I am an online strength and physique coach. So you can find me at Mathis Fitness on Instagram, um, mathisfitness at gmail.com if you're interested in coaching or visit my website, www.coachdavidmathis.com. Thank you guys. Go have a great day. If you haven't yet, please like, subscribe, and share, and hit that notification button. Take care.